Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Right now I'm in the process of painting a wash stand. I did not actually film me starting to paint it because I thought it'd be a really boring video, but it's turning out really cute and I have some ideas for applying some transfers. So let me show you what I'm working on and we can finish it up together. So here is a look at the wash stand before. I had it for sale in the tent sale we recently did at uh, my treasure house, which is where I have a booth. Um, and it did not sell over that weekend, so I brought it home and then decided to paint it. So at first I was just gonna paint it solid white. This is the color Sunkissed by Dixie Bell. Here we go. It is a silk all-in-one mineral paint from Dixie Bell. You can buy this on my Etsy site. So this is a little different than their chalk paint. It has the primer and the top coat built in, so I really like how nice and convenient that is. So easy to use. And I went ahead and did like a dipped painting method instead of painting the whole thing. So that is why I didn't film at first because I thought I was just gonna paint it white and that was gonna be super boring. I'm also trying to get it in the shop relatively quickly. I need to put it in there at least by tomorrow. So I wasn't gonna film it because it just adds more time. But now that I have it in this like dipped paint method, I think I'm gonna add some sunflower transfers on top from Iron Orchid Designs. And I just think it's gonna turn out really pretty, so I decided I did wanna share it with you guys so I can give you some inspiration to use um, your Iron Orchid Design stuff too, or to chalk paint something a little bit different and unusual. I don't see this method too much in my area yet, so kind of interested to see how this one sells. So I'm gonna go ahead now and try to figure out a good placement for my sunflowers and um, apply those. I'm gonna seal everything up and it'll be ready to go. So as you can see, it's a little bit more tedious to try to get these transfers to stick on a surface that is not perfectly flat, but it is not impossible. You just have to be a little bit more patient with the process. You saw me use an X-Acto knife there to kind of cut the plastic um, transfer sheet. That was really just making it difficult to push the image down into the cracks and onto the different layers. So once I used the knife to kind of cut that plastic down, I could push it around where I needed it to. And it was pretty simple at that point, but it was just a little bit more of a process than when you're applying something to a flat surface, but not a huge deal. Overall, this was still a really easy process. The hardest part was just deciding where to put everything. Um, but I do really like the placement in the end. I kind of just wanted to make this one corner stand out, and I think I achieved that look. Um, I really like kind of the unsymmetrical, asymmetrical look of this, I should say. Um, and I like that the flowers are on the door of the piece. I don't know. I just think it ended up looking nice and balanced in the end. Uh, maybe because the drawers on the other side had their handles showing, and this was a little bit more blank on that side. So I think that's why it worked to have the sunflowers on this corner. Um, and now I don't actually show you later on in the video. I end up sealing the transfers themselves with Mod Podge and just using a really um, small kind of detailed artist brush to put the Mod Podge right over the top of the sunflowers. Um, I use a matte finish so that it, it blends in really nicely. And that way you have a really nice durable um, finish right over the transfers instead of having to seal over the entire piece because the paint I use already has a sealer built in So it actually worked really well for me to use the Mod Podge just over the transfer And then I let it go a little bit over the edges so that it would be nice and durable and it's applied really really well um, But using this method it should last for a really long time. I did about three coats of Mod Podge So it's nice and durable now and also beautiful All right, this was a really quick and easy project. Once I got all the layout of the sunflowers figured out, 
it was pretty easy from there and I love how this one turned out. I can't believe like how much I want to keep it now considering when I bought it I really didn't even like it at all um, but I just think the, the combination of the dipped painting style and then these really beautiful sunflower transfers I think it just turned out really beautiful. I did end up adding a few more sunflowers around the corner here. Not a few more, just one more. And then I just really like that the leaves kind of got chunked up and separated, all the crackling effect. I think it looks really nice. I like how the sunflowers kind of marry together, the, the white on the bottom and then the wood on top. I really contemplated doing another sunflower on the opposite corner, kind of in the top over here. But I decided to leave it more simple. So you can let me know down in the comments if you think that would have been a good addition or not. As for this one, I do believe I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to put it in the shop tomorrow. I'm going to let everything cure overnight. I have sealed it. Um, and then I styled it on top with some of my more recent yard sale finds, except the clock. But recently I bought that white pitcher and bowl for $5. Um, that little like stand paper holder, I think that was $2. And then... I got two of these um, like essential oil artwork pieces in a green frame. They were a dollar for the pair. And then that little like herb tray behind it was also was 50 cents actually. So none of this is necessarily vintage, but I just liked it all. It had a really nice springy vibe. And it's definitely something that I can mark up a little bit in my booth. So I just love how all of this came together. This has ended up being one of my favorite pieces I've done in a long time. I really, really love how it came out. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I appreciate you guys watching today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!